My name is Chrissy Chella, and this is our story on how we're expanding Honor Active to be the biggest female strength training brand in the world. We want you to join us on our highs, our lows, all of the obstacles that we face, but all the wins we make together. You are the reason we are here today. So we want you to be part of every single minute of our journey. So sit back, enjoy, and let's make magic happen together. Season two, episode one of the Honor Active documentary. The reason we want to do this is because we feel really passionate about bringing everyone along the journey. And I think the first season was that introduction of who Honor is, what it's about, who we represent and who we want to amplify. And in this season, I sat my team down. I was like, nothing is out of bounds. You can literally show anything. You can show the highs, the lows, the mistakes. You can interview whoever you want if they feel comfortable with and it's because I feel like it's important to understand that it's not just one individual that leads a vision it's a whole team behind it it's a whole community behind it so season two is going to be full of laughter full of learnings but also just letting our community even more in and understanding why honor is genuinely here on this world and what our purpose is so currently we are on a bit of a crazy growth journey. It makes me very nervous, but I'm very excited for it. The risk that lies when a company grows too quick is that you can scale quite quickly without the right foundations. And what could happen is that major leaks happen and major cracks happen. So I've actually had to slow it down a little bit. For example, Honor Active could be making, let's say 10 more million this year. And I've just said to the team, slow down. Do you have the right team? Do you have enough manpower? Do you have enough support expertise around you in order for you to even scale the way we want to scale? By the end of 2024, we are looking at a headcount just for honor collectively with absolutely everyone. I would say around about over a hundred people, which is guys like can we just fathom how intense that makes me feel it was just me sasha and sarah at the beginning the three musketeers buttons by our side i was fitting product on sasha to now a team of 100 by the end of the year with chiefs like now we're bringing in some big dogs so i'm a little bit like intimidated but also so excited to be around people who are so smart and who are so hungry for the vision that that honor has and you never want to be in a room and you are the most intelligent you never want to be in a room and you are the one that's constantly fueling the vision you want to be in a room where people challenge you push your buttons they disagree with you they look at hindsight they look at what the future will hold and it starts making you think okay i need to open my mind i need to try new things i'm not always right i'm actually more wrong than right you know it's exciting and with that growth we needed a new home you know we needed somewhere that people felt like they could come and create for me creativity is one of the most important things and I don't know you can speak to whoever you want about this <laughs> they might disagree <laughs> can you hear me test test okay ready no what do I need what do I need to be ready for dude I've, I've been like <laughs> This is so out of my comfort zone. Where am I looking? Into the camera? Oh wow, that is intense, isn't it? Do you think oh, God. that Chrissy mm -hmm. Chiller micromanages you? <laughs> no, she doesn't micromanage me. You sure? Ah, uh, yes. Does she micromanage other people? Now that is a different question. No, I wouldn't say micromanage. She's very specific at times about what she would like and what she wants. But I think with any boss who knows where they're going, that they will always be like that. So it's just a case of learning when to push back and when you just accept it. Uh, she doesn't. Yes, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> no. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Very sure. No. <laughs> sure. Yeah. To be fair, not me. No. I don't get micromanaged by Christy. No, I don't think she does. Is that convincing? Why? Do you feel that way? Oh, you wanted me to answer? Are you gonna use this? Oh, let me do it again then. No, I don't think Christy micromanages me at all. 
I do feel like I don't micromanage people. I may micromanage situations in the sense of when I have a specific vision, it has to come to life like I envision it because I'm so passionate about that vision. So for example, the She Who campaign, I knew exactly each and every single step of how I wanted that to look and the team brought it to life. However, I don't micromanage people's creativity. So if my team comes to me and go, I really want to try this, I really want to do this. I'm like, go try it. What's the worst that could happen? If I see seriously don't like an idea I'll be like let's second thing it hold back and reassess only because if it doesn't align with our values and our mission it doesn't make sense even if it's a trend I don't care does it mean it makes sense to honor and for me when I think about honor I think of about it like a timeless classic you're always going to come back to it and you're always going to feel good in it you're always going to be remembering it it's not trying to hop onto trends it's not trying to be an it girl it's not trying to be anything like that it's simply trying to elevate your journey throughout your whole entire life expansion of the team you know bringing them into a new home letting their creativity flow and honestly giving them an environment that shows them how much we appreciate them because it was so much easier to just get like another little office or you know a dungy office and profit in the back of founders pockets we made it clear as founders we were like no we want to reinvest in our team and that starts with our home our foundations So this is our reception. So as you come out of the lift, the first thing you see is our monorective sign. There's more that we want to add to the office of bearing in mind. When you settle in and you kind of see what's missing, that's when you add more. Initially, this is the reception. So we've got our beautiful sign, our beautiful little lounge chair, some stunning flowers. So we just feel ready to start the day on our actives. So come with me. So as you call King, you come to my office. And the reason I wanted to do that was I want to almost be like the first and last person that greets people. I just had this feeling that it was always nice, like the guest of the house to always be like, welcome and goodbye. Although actually, ironically, I never actually spend any time in this office. I'm always around other departments and my operations manager or financial director, it seems to always be in here having meetings or HR. So it's kind of an open space for everyone. But if I need to have private meetings or things, I come in here so let me take you through my office so my dream for this office was for it to feel like home but also like work you spend majority of your time at work and the people at work so you want to feel calm you want to feel like you can also relax at times but of course work hard which you guys know we do so I wanted to mix that like pleasure as well as well with like the work aspect of things so that's why I have this really comfortable loungy area with this stunning sofa that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Look at her. Sorry, Q. Like, can we just have a moment? Stunning. And then what I wanted was this shelf cabinet, which has all my little sentimental pieces, and like my little awards, my book. Do this for you. Link down below if you want to purchase. My record player, which I love. I love vinyls. I love records. So if there's any gift you ever want to get me, always get me a record. And it's nice because then I can put your name on it and remember why you got me it. This side of the office is where my desk is. Everyone took the piss out of me for this desk because they were like, why is your desk so small? I didn't think it was small, but now I'm contemplating. So do you think this desk is too small for this room? If you do, I need to clearly get a new one. And then this is my feature wall that we're gonna build over time and add new pieces. One million subscribers, absolutely incredible. We did that together, you made that happen, so thank you so much always. Couple of women's health. This is the coffee cabinet. So when people come in and make them a coffee. And then right now what we have here is my sampling rail. So what the team does, the product team, they come in and they'll put product on this rail with a note, tell me that I need to trial and test it, give feedback. And that's why I added a curtain here as well. So then I can just close the curtain off, get change, trial things. My mirror there as well to do content and anything that I need to do. Walking through this area, you guys will remember this from our old office. It's the original feature wall on our active. I am gonna try and keep this every single place we go. It's very sentimental. And what I actually want and what I will discuss with the team is people sign it. So as they come in over time, they sign aspects of it just so it becomes a really sentimental piece so we can get it and move it anywhere we are. 
our signature everyday bras in our color formulas, as you can see here, our most popular product, which is our effortless product. You'll see messages popped around the whole office. So this is one of my favorite ones. This is kind of how we speak to each other internally. Honor is your journey, at your pace, progress is personal, no comparison. Consistency equals confidence. Be present, max out, make it count. Be your, the PB days, trust the rest days, strong start here. So the language I use in the gym is how I speak to my team. There's no difference to how I speak to you. It's just a 360 effect that's much easier. So this is where all the operational team is. Moving on to my favorite department, product. So this is the product team. I can absolutely assure you it is never this tidy. There is product coming out of everyone's nose hole, ear hole, every hole you can imagine. But literally, the team has cleaned this up for me, so I appreciate the tea. But this is the design room, the spa. We are keeping the walls blank because we're going to be adding the design criteria and the garment criteria, the quality criteria on each wall. So no, no one ever forget. So if a new person comes in, they know exactly what they need to be doing in those criteria. We have our racking wall here. So we rack each collection, we rack colors, we see what doesn't work, seasonals, etc. And the beauty about this room as well is that it's multifunctional. So we pull this curtain and then this becomes a fixed session. So we have our fixed sessions here and our mirror there. We have showers here as well. So if anyone wants to shower at work, all their toiletries, towels, showers, whatever, so if they pop into the gym. This is one of my favorite walls as well. It's our athlete wall. We can't fit every athlete here, so we rotate them. So we have every athlete and we rotate. So this is our athlete wall, which I absolutely love. And it's almost like a gallery. We wanted it to feel like a beautiful gallery that when people come in or the team will past it, they just remember where they are through their product, through the strong women that we have, through the beautiful people that we work with. And yeah, it's super sentimental. Moving on to the marketing department, customer service department as well. This team is growing really, really fast. So this is probably going to get very uncomfortable very soon. So this is where CX sits. Again, there's loads of things missing from the walls. We want more whiteboards, calendars, that's all still added. We've also added lots of like e-commerce imagery here. So customer support can look at the imagery as well here, be reminded of the product. Again, those will rotate and it's really important for them to understand that the product is and the offering. And then this over here is marketing. So we have social girls, all of the creative hub, art direction for e-commerce, art direction for campaigns, um, events, everything you can imagine here. This is our little loungy area where the team come and work and collab. However, with the rate that we're going, this is probably gonna have to be removed. I don't know where I'm gonna put this so far. It's yet to be pending. One thing we decided to do was get multi-purpose desks. And the reason being is because people sit all day if they have a desk job. And I was like, honey, no. We're gonna get you to stand for a bit. It's good for you. So now people can stand, they can drop down, they can sit down, stand up. If they want to get like a little treadmill at the bottom of their desk, they can. But I think it's safe to say this is everybody's favorite feature. I didn't realize how happy something so simple could make people, but it has. Moving on to our kitchen, it is my favorite part of the office and everybody's favorite part, obviously, where there's food, everyone's happy. We wanted to create a space that was very light, very open, very clean and functional as well, which is super important. So we have some loungy areas for sofa breaks. We have these beautiful tables here where people can speak to each other and they were very inspired by Wagamamas, when you go and you sit next to strangers and it's actually quite nice. And then over here is our kitchen. So we have our drinks cabinet. So some, whatever drinks you want, you want some away, whatever you want. Our hidden fridge, which we will now need a second fridge, obviously. Our drinks area. Why I tell you this team goes through tea and coffee like their life depends on it. It's quite shocking to see. But we have every offering you can imagine, any tea you can imagine. 
syrups, whatever, so the team can make the coffee of their choice. We have an oven, and this was really, really important to me personally. This was my selfish need of one, but the team do use it. I think they made like quiche the other day. Don't ask me, I wasn't here, but they made quiche for each other, which is really sweet. For me, I think homemade meals are incomparable to anything else. So I always make the same lunch every single day. Debas, broccoli, rice, and sriracha sauce. So I put my sea bass in here with my broccoli. I shove it in quickly. I go to my next meeting, 25 minutes. I eat it and I'm ready to go for my next meeting. So I wanted this to feel homely. And clearly I've now created an apartment for myself. So I sleep in the office and I come make breakfast here. This room is a multifunctional room. It acts as a conference room, brainstorm room, room where my other co-founders attend as well. So this room is very peaceful, very calming. Again, we need to add whiteboards and stuff like that so people can collaborate more. Over here is our studio, which I absolutely love and I'm so thankful we got to build a studio because studio space is very, very spenny. So I was like, right, we need our own space. This is where majority of our athletes and affiliates come and they do e-commerce or campaigns. So we have our lovely, beautiful little like lounge just sit sat down area which we have to put throws on because the majority of the girls have oil on them and i don't want to ruin these sofas and then we have a little glam station over here which is sunny the reason I've wanted the office to feel and look the way it looks now is because number one, you spend 80 to potentially 90% of your time at work or however long you spend at work, but majority of your time is spent at work. And the environment that I wanted our team to come into was somewhere really calm, really open, really creative, and really just zen. I want them to be here for a long time in the sense of I don't ever hire people with the intention of them leaving after a year's time. Like we're in a relationship together it's about longevity and therefore if the office was constantly erratic and there's a lot of things going on over time that could get a lot i can confirm that everybody really 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 likes the space and they're really happy with how it turned out and they're really thankful and to be honest they they're thankful but i'm thankful they're here anyway for the next three months we have our heads down we are tunnel vision on the next launches capsules events and our third birthday pop-up so we are going to be going to houston and we're going to be hosting four athlete events on top of that we are expanding our youtube page on the basis that we also want to provide valuable content and we want to be the forefront company for women's strength so why are you not educating women in strength training like that's what we're here for so we need to be the people that people go to for. Number two, we have incredible capsules. As you guys know, Honor Active loves to cross merchandise aspects of lifestyle and performance into one capsule with our color formula so you can mix and match, but also you can find the perfect sets that you require. Wearing them in the gym, wearing them day to day, wearing them lounging about. So we support you in your performance days and also your deload days. The next thing that's, that's coming up in the next three months is the LA pop-up which I am absolutely buzzing for. We are literally gonna build a gym in Melrose in LA. And we've done a UK pop-up before, so we decided to also do an American pop-up. And the reason being is because our community is really heavily split. We're very big in the US and our US family is just incredible. So why not bring Honor Active physically to the US market? We are gonna be building an in on-site gym. We're gonna be showcasing our new collection, Capsule new products we're going to be providing exclusive free gifts for everyone that comes along seminars workshops panels we're going to be doing workout classes food it's just going to be a vibe and it's going to be a festival and the concept behind it is designed by lifters for lifters which is on in a nutshell i'm a lifter we're designing everything for lifters it's really exciting and there's so much to do so i'm gonna go because i'm busy and you better leave a thumbs up up and show some love and we love you always and forever on our active and we'll catch you in episode two